In the exam, we were given the formula to work out the volume and surface area of spheres and cones. So here we've got a cone, and we know the curved surface area of a cone from the formula is pi times r times l. And l is this diagonal height up here. And the volume of a cone is one third pi r squared times h, and h is the vertical height. With a sphere, the surface area, so this is a 3D shape here, it looks like a circle, it's actually three dimensional like a football. Um, the surface area is four pi r squared, and the volume is four thirds pi r cubed. So we just apply these formulas, and that tells us how to work out the volume and surface area. So here I've got a sphere. So if I want to work out the volume, I just take the formula. So it's 4 over 3 times pi r cubed. In this case, r is 5. So it's 4 over 3 times pi times 5 cubed. And you can just type that in the calculator. And that gives us 500 over 3 pi. Or as a decimal, we can have 523 0.6 its volume, so centimetres cubed, to 1 dp. The surface area, we just use the other formula, so surface area of a sphere is 4 times pi times r squared. In this case, r is 5, so 4 times pi times 5 squared, that gives us 100 pi, so as a decimal that's 314 0.2 centimetres squared to one decimal place. Okay, so we've got a cone here. Um, the curved surface area of a cone, so if I wanted to work out, actually let's do volume first. So the volume, that, that's the easier one in this case, it's one third times pi times r squared times h which is 1 third pi times 5 squared, but we don't actually know the h in this case. So I'll just leave times h there for now. We know l, we know the curved one, but we don't know this vertical height. So what we've actually got here is a right angle triangle, and it's a Pythagoras problem. So 15, 5, and our unknown here. So because of Pythagoras, we know that our unknown plus 5 squared equals 15 squared. So our unknown squared plus 25 equals 225. Um, so x squared equals 200, and our unknown is root 200. Yeah, we'll just leave that as root 200, so it's 1 third pi times 5 squared times root 200. So then we can type that in the calculator, and that gives us an answer of 370.2 centimetres cubed, and that's the one decimal place. Okay, so the surface area, or the curved surface area, and the total surface area, is the area of the circle, so it's going to be the area of the circle plus the curved surface area. So the area of the circle is pi times r squared, pi times 5 squared in this case, plus the curved surface area, which is pi times r times l. So pi times 5 times 15. So that's going to be 25 pi plus 5 15 to 75, 75 pi. So that's 100 pi. So that's 3, 1, 4, 0.2 uh, centimetres squared, and that's the 1 dp. So either of those two answers, 100 pi or 3, 1, 4.2. Okay, this time they've given us the vertical height, they haven't given us the, the L. So we're going to have to work that one out to do the curved surface area. But we'll start with the volume. That's one third 
times pi r squared h. In this case, one third times pi times five squared times 12. And that is 100 pi. So 314.2 uh, centimeters cubed to 1 dp. The L, to find the curved surface area, we need to find L, and that's another Pythagoras problem. So we've got 5, 12, and L here. 12 squared plus 5 squared equals L squared. 144 plus 25. 169 equals L squared. So L is 13 centimetres. 13 centimetres. So we've got curved surface area as pi RL, which is pi times 5 times 13, which is 65 pi. And we've got the circle, which is pi times r squared, so 25 pi. So that means that adds up to 90 pi, so the total surface area is 90 pi, or 282.7 centimetres squared to 1 dp. Okay, here's two questions for you to try. So, see if you can work out the volume and surface area for this cone and this sphere. Okay, so if we look at the cone here, we can see that we need to work out the H to work out the volume, because the volume is one third pi r squared H. So, we use Pythagoras to find this length, so it's going to be 7 squared plus h squared equals 25 squared, and that gives us h squared equals uh, 25 squared minus 7 squared, which is 576, and h is root 576, which is actually 24, so 24 metres is the height. So the volume is one third times pi times seven squared times 24. And we type that in the calculator and we get 392 pi or as a decimal, that's 1231.5 to 1 dp. And that is volume, so it's centimeters cubed. It's meters cubed, actually, in this case, meters cubed. So the surface area, so we've got the surface area equals, so we've got the base, which is pi r squared, plus the curved surface area, which is pi r l. So it's pi times 7 squared, plus pi times 7 times 25. And we can type that in the calculator. And that gives us 224 pi. Or as a decimal, 703.7 um, centimetres squared, metres squared to 1 dp. Then let's look at the sphere. So we've got the volume is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So 4 over 3 times pi times 10 cubed. Again, we can put that in the calculator. And that gives us 4,000 over 3 pi. Or it's 4188.8 meters cubed to 1 dp. For the surface area, it's 4 pi r squared, which is 4 times pi times 10 squared. So that gives us 400 pi, or as a decimal, 
meters squared to one dp.